This video is sponsored by Babbel. There's all kinds of alcohol molecules out there in nature, and they all do different things. For example, methanol is used in racing fuel, propanol is what's in rubbing alcohol, and ethanol is the alcohol you drink in alcoholic beverages. This simple two-carbon atom with a hydroxyl group attached does so many things to your body when you drink it. But first, a word from our sponsor, Babbel. Babbel is the number one language learning app in the world. It's different from your typical language app. They don't rely on an AI to make hand exercises. Their lessons are written by real language instructors who go the extra mile to craft practical conversations, using culture, slang, and traditions to develop real-world interactions. I live in upstate New York, not too far from Montreal, so when I visit, I use Babbel to brush up on my French. Savez-vous et allega? Got it, awesome. Sessions are in short 10-minute interactions, so you can practice whenever you have a few minutes throughout the day. If you click the link in the description below, you can get 65% off your Babbel subscription and a 20-day money-back guarantee. Check out Babbel today. You may have noticed after a few drinks that trips to the bathroom become more frequent. Among the many things that ethanol does to your body, one of them is inhibiting a hormone called antidiuretic hormone, or ADH. ADH is responsible for telling your body to reabsorb water back into the body after the kidneys have filtered blood of waste products. Your cells make a lot of waste, like creatinine and urea, which are both toxic to the body. These waste products have to get removed, and your kidneys are the organ for the job. When blood flows through the kidneys, it passes through its filtration system, made up of a network of vessels called nephrons. In the nephron, blood flows through a group of capillaries called the glomerulus where waste products are filtered through a very small tubule called Bowman's capsule. Clean blood flows back into the body, and waste flows through the nephron into the bladder and is excreted as urine. Now, your blood is not some advanced AI that knows not to filter out water from blood. It filters out whatever passes through the kidneys, whether it be waste or water. Red blood cells, though, don't get filtered because they're too big to fit. So, how do you retain water if it all gets lost through your kidneys? This is where ADH, or antidiuretic hormone, comes in. To reabsorb water filtered out of the kidneys, the pituitary gland releases ADH, which stimulates your kidneys to reabsorb water back into the blood. Essentially, ADH prevents you from peeing out all the water in your body. When you drink alcohol, ethanol blocks the release of ADH in the pituitary gland, so your kidneys are not signaled to reabsorb water back into the blood, and you end up excreting a large amount of it in your urine. This can become very dangerous as you could get dehydrated, since your body is not retaining any water. In fact, when you're hungover, you feel like garbage because you did not drink enough water and you fell asleep in a dehydrated state. If you drink a glass of water with each alcoholic beverage, you won't get dehydrated. All alcohol, whether it's spirits, wine, or beer, will make you excrete water. But of the three, beer makes you pee the most. But why is that? Though beer has a lower alcohol concentration than liquor and wine, it has more volume per drink than liquor or wine does. Beer comes in 8, 12, and 16 ounce containers, and that's a lot of water paired with alcohol, which is a recipe for plenty of trips to the bathroom. 